your main man returns to tell you about an overview of Gothnog's legendary weapons and magic, 5th edition Dungeons and Dragons supplement. Now this is something you're going to want to pick up. It interjects some very interesting magic items from different power levels into your game. Each page has an entire spread for the magic item. It's well written up with detailed backstory and plot hooks that can give you a ton to work with. I know when I'm putting together an RPG, I want to see back story. I want to see hooks. I want to see things that I, that will stimulate my imagination to get it up, started, and going. That's the kind of thing that you're going to get from this series. There are a number of other books. There's some reviews on my channel that you could check out for some of the other books here from uh, Captain Gothnog. And there's going to be more to come in this fifth edition Dungeons and Dragons vein and style. And, and while it is written for the fifth edition, it's written in a way you, you could very easily drop this in your AD&D first or second edition game for your 3.5 or Pathfinder game for your fourth edition Dungeons and Dragons game, whatever you want, even for non uh, Dungeons and Dragons games. Now, for what the people like to call the full disclosure, maybe, uh, I was a contributor uh, to this. There are uh, two magic items that I've put together. In fact, you can see one of the items from uh, the Book of True Names for Within the Ring of Fire has been uh, brought over and, and ported and changed to a Dungeons and Dragons style with, uh, you know, to give you something that you could take advantage of and see there how easy and flexible it is to move a magic item from one rules-based system to another. And you can certainly obviously reconvert other items. I don't think it would be very difficult to work these the majority of them into your Palladium Fantasy or your Within the Ring of Fire games uh, and into really any sort of fantasy-based game that has things like that. You know, a lot of these wouldn't be necessarily for, say, a Conan game, but for the majority of your fantasy, you know, your Savage Worlds-based fantasy or whatever, you could use a lot of these items because they're not, while they do have all the full statistics that you need there, they're not about a crunch sheet of stats. This is about the plot hooks, the creativity, the imagination, bringing it in there and allowing you to have uh, a more defined, immersive experience for your Dungeons and Dragons game. And to give a game master a lot you can do with it instead of just, okay, here's a plus two sword, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you know, it's, it's going to have some some mystique, some legend, uh, a lore behind it, you understand, baby. And it's certainly going to be uh, something that's going to be very interesting to you. The game uh, created by Alex Gillett. The, the, this book and a lot of help as well from uh, from, from Rob Davis from Matt Click and uh, Nate Waz does I'm sorry I butchered your name uh, and I do know who you are but uh, anyway so that and, and as well as myself I made some uh, some contributions that I've already outlined there the book is full color art and absolutely beautiful the each each item is set up with a large description history all, all these sort of things uh, forwarded a full page and then it goes over the properties like what it does statistically and that that's that's a small portion you know compared to what is put out there for the history the backstory and so forth that that's going to be maybe the, the backstory alone is probably two and a half to maybe as far as five times as much as the property just to give you an idea of how much depth uh, is put into the, the item is certainly presented with integrity and every item has a beautiful color picture to accompany it uh, I'm just sort of looking at it as we're going through it right now I mean some of these some of these pictures are just absolutely uh, magnificent and if you're not familiar with Alex's art if you've looked at uh, any of the Within the Ring of Fire covers he's done all of those and uh, let me just read the back of it here I don't want to reveal too much of the contents within but uh, just from having gone through it, there's just some wonderful ideas. They've got some magical kopeshes for you. And I mean, you're not going to find magical kopeshes very often in, in a Dungeons & Dragons written up book. You know, it has a, has a nice uh, appendix for the book as well. And uh, then, then on the back cover, we, we, it's just it's just beautiful. The book, I've just flipped through the entire thing there. It's absolutely beautiful. And... Something that you're definitely going to want to pick up. You can pick it up on drivethroughrpg.com. When you're there, you can also check out other titles from Critical Hit Publishing. You can get these on PDFs. I believe this one's out on physical copy now as well. It's just some really, uh, really great stuff. And in the back, it is the story of Gothnog. And you can certainly uh, 
uh, check this out. You can pick up his books on can trips. You can pick up uh, his books on potions and poisons while you're there. Get all these items together at one time from Drive Through RPG. And you can pick up Theater of the Mind magazine. And Alex is a really excellent writer and publisher. He comes at it with a with a very good mindset for putting together something that's going to give you give you tools, give you building blocks to produce a better game. You know, to take some of the weight off of you. You can sit half and you know. Uh, spend that creative energy on, on this magic item or on the cantrip or whatever you can put it elsewhere and Bring in the tools that he's already giving you here And just insert them for additional products. I mean you have a magic item, right? And he goes into the history so you can take that history and go wow. All right What if we instead of where he has it because remember you need to understand uh, You can deconstruct any elements of any idea you can see you understand Instead of okay, maybe this is way in the future how the item is presented and its backstory had this well you can go right to that backstory you could pluck your embers or NPCs what have you right out of there you could use them you could tell their stories you could bring them in you could develop them you could take those seeds and you could tell that story and uh, you can bring in these items and and show the ways that they're forged or use those recipes to help your players when they're creating something or to use that as a uh, idea to help a building block to tell a history, to tell a story of the creation of interesting and unique relics or magic items in your fantasy game. And I can certainly uh, tell you, even if you're not playing Dungeons Dragons 5th Edition, you get tons of value out of this because it's not, while it has all the mechanics you need there, it has that focus. It's not that small little boom and then we're going to put 30 more. It's an entire page. For each item with beautiful artwork, uh, you know, colored background. The book looks absolutely gorgeous. I've gone through it a few times today alone and, and looked at it uh, when, when it initially came out. So it's definitely something, besides the fact that I was involved with it, that I think you're going to want to pick up uh, when, uh, you know, you're running your, your games. For uh, Dungeons and Dragons, it, it can provide just just some tremendous uh, items. There are uh, a lot of really flavorful names too. The Candles of Dandra. That's uh, that's a pretty neat name, you know. This just just looking at all these. I don't again. I don't want to give everything away. I want to give you the story away right now. But it has a very nice introduction, very nice appendix. You, you have uh, uh, quite a quite a few magic items in here. And you could go ahead and get uh, one of the ones that I put together, uh, Catatapothes Bowl, which is definitely uh, a very, a very uh, a neat item, I think. And, and, and there's some other great stuff in here as well that is really going to help fuel the imagination. I'm going to try to remember to attach the picture from the front of it, which looks awesome. And what really looks awesome is the knight kneeling before uh, the queen who has a fucking ball and magic sword and, and it's just just undulating out with this blue mist of potent magical properties it looks just like rvd <laughs> so it's like rvd rob van dam in chain mail with the with the black bird with the the upside down moon on the tower bird in the chain mail about to hit a five star frog splash uh, personally that's always very cool and the art style is similar to that of the other uh, books from 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 Purple Lake Games, so you're gonna want to go and pick those out. When you're there on DriveThroughRPG.com, make sure to just look through the other ones. You know that's not gonna cost you anything other than a few seconds of time. You can read reviews. You can watch some of the other videos that do review them. I know I've reviewed several of them. There may there may be other reviews out there for them as well. I can't speak with certainty of that. I do know that there are reviews on DriveThroughRPG.com where in fact you can get. Uh, Gothnog's Legendary Weapons and Magic 5th Edition, primarily for Dungeons and Dragons, easily transported over for many other fantasy experiences as well. Go pick it up now, uh, very reasonably priced, and uh, you're certainly going to be enjoying this book uh, and having a good time with it. It has magic items of different power levels, a lot of them uh, just very interesting sort of fill in the gaps sort of thing as opposed to all right it adds this power it adds this power it adds this power you know it's more about the the theme what could you do with magic with the flexibility of it what would you actually really do if you really had magic to make your life easier to make things 
you know, more interesting uh, for yourself. So a product I would, I would recommend to you. I would love to hear you guys' thoughts. If you have read this book, if you've purchased it, uh, make sure to leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know, you know, what 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 uh, strong points you see in it, or even anything maybe you don't like. Which I, I don't know how. Uh, I don't. I don't think we're going to get into those. But if you do, you know, feel free to leave that as well. But what we really want to hear is um, what what you've perhaps used for your own games what you've used out of here how you've used them how you've changed things what ideas they've sparked and i think that could be a very interesting conversation to engage into so go to drive through rpg.com and check critical hit publishing out just go through the list he has written a lot of books and there i've seen a bunch of them there's just absolutely great stuff if you're if you want to add some more dimension, some more flavor to your Dungeons and Dragons experience. I think this is a wonderful way to go and be supporting an indie publisher. And one of our own people here uh, from the YouTube RPG Brigade. So, God and get it now. What the hell is wrong with you? You're just sitting there and waiting. I've told you to go. You're going to drive through RPG.